much and sounds like. Hey guys, Casey Jones here from Charlotte Gaming, and we're back in Minecraft with a little video that I'm doing. And you might notice that I have the train craft track, a little test track set up, the UK shunter, the steam locomotive, the um, Soviet Union CHME3, whatever that is, and the SD70 Union Pacific, and some red dye. You'll see why in a second. Now, I hope you've all played with Rig 64's um, Unstoppable Texture Pack unstall installed. Not unstalled, what the heck. But, supposing you, suppose you've played with that, you've probably heard the Shunter Horn, Steam Train Horn, the whatever it's called horn, and the SD70 Horn. And you might all know that SD70 plus red dye equals triple seven. We all know that, so that's what the red dye is for. Now I've played a around with a little bit of sounds. Now you might recognize this one from my video, Class 395 to Traincraft. Yeah, I finally figured out how to make it work, and I also did the same with the steam engine. Yeah, sounds really awesome. This one, I recorded not too long ago. I recorded it off of a video, the volcanic train, where this Asian train, probably? not No, not Asian. Um, Australian, from what I've seen. It was like spewing smoke. Like, like through its smokestack thing. Now, this one was recorded from Unstoppable, which is why I'm using 777 as my example. The clicking was just me, um, accidentally clicking the unpause button, aka the space bar too loud. So that's why there was a clicking, like, um, that click part. The clicking part was just my space bar accidentally clicking too loud when I recorded it, so. Um. Yeah. That's what, that's what the clicking sound is, and the part where it goes into the part about the RS campaign thing, that was just me accidentally recording a bit too long, but today I'm going to be showing you how I did all this, and how this stuff was possible. So, as you can now see, we are on my desktop. And these have now appeared. And also this. We've all seen that, right? Oops, I accidentally stopped recording by accident. But... I'll show you why all this stuff is on my desktop. So if I go into Traincraft Experimental, which that's now what it's called, you can see that these are now wave sounds. The only ones I haven't converted are the ones that say MPEG-4 audio. This one. This one. That one. This one. This new one. And this new one. And those are the only sounds that are left to convert. Today I'm going to be doing the two ones from Unstoppable. I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to do it, and I'm going to walk you through the entire process. So, I went online on Google, and I typed in sound file 
converter. I typed sound file converter and I clicked sound file converter dash nch dot com dot au. I clicked it. I clicked download switch audio file converter for Windows. I did all all the setup wizard and stuff. And now I have switch sound file converter. And once you open it, it gives you this nice clean GUI. And what you do is you basically, if it's not or if the sound isn't already in your music folder, you have to copy paste it in there. So what I do is I click add files so once I copy it, and then I copy paste it in there from there. And what the heck? Where's GP Horn? Wait, no, remove, uh, technical difficulties, file explorer, music, uh, oh, it's already in there, never mind, um, I just click add files, and apparently this one was already in my desktop, and as well as this one, so I'll just pop it in there, and then I have to make sure it says dot wave, which is wave sound, you can also do this stuff with, like, W dot WMA, which I have no idea what it is, dot MP3, dot M4, M4R, dot M3U, dot M4A, um, all that stuff, but I'm going to stick with dot wave, which is wave sound, and once I have this thing in here, so far, like, originally, it's dot M4A, and I'm going to change it to wave sound, so I click convert, I click open folder, and now there's two. The bottom one and the top one. I'm gonna try my luck with the bottom one because so far it's always bed the bottom one. So I go back into here and I have to copy this. GP Horn. I have to copy that and paste it onto my desktop in case I don't if in case I don't like it for some reason. So now it's on my desktop. And now I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Yes, I do want to delete it. And in case I regret that decision, it's always still on my desktop. So now I have to copy this. And it will let me paste it in here. And now this is wave sound. And we're not done yet. Since the other one, whoops, wrong one. Uh, yeah, that that's the wrong one. This one is the wrong one. So I'm going to GP40 horn copy and paste. And it will set for some reason copy all the way over there. But if I click this and I click press delete, I click remove, and now GP 40 2 horn. I double click that a few times, and it will put it in here m4a dot wave convert. It already has a file. Do I want to overwrite it? I want to overwrite it. Folder open, and as you can see, that one that kind of sounded like let me open the folder. The one that sounded like this. That file is gone. Absolutely gone. But now what I do is I copy the GP40-2 horn and I paste it onto the desktop in case I regret my decision. And then I'm going to, of well, in case I regret it, my decision of deleting or something something like that so I copy the bottom one and now I'm going to paste it in there and it's a wave sound so now that that's done I can X out of all of that open multi MC go to loader mods the view view folder and now I can X out of as edit instance and minimize multi MC I'm gonna delete the Traincraft experimental and copy paste the new one. This one is always changing. I'm gonna copy paste the changing one that's experimental onto my train test pack thing, which is devoted to 
this mod. This is not going to be a public release mod because I don't want to get the creators of Traincraft angry with me. Or maybe angry, or maybe the creator of the texture pack, Rick64, angry at me for changing the sounds. Which is why I'm not re releasing it. So I'm going to switch over to my game recording because it kind of tolerates games a little better. And here we are. I'm going to go into my test world. And my track is still there. And I test all these to make sure they still work. That works. That works. Waiting, waiting. I'm just going to pop this down. It's a diesel train blowing a steam train horn. No. That works. This works. That works. And now I need to grab blue dye as well as red dye. So the red dye is for the triple seven. So all of those work. And now I'm going to go into train craft. I'm going to grab the um, GPS. SD40, what the heck, and the GP7, as well as the GP40. Now, the reason I'm grabbing the GP7 is because it has the same horn as the SD40. So I'm going to grab the SD40, give it a nice 1206 coat, and now... It actually blows the 1206's horn, because that's actually what the 1206's horns sound like. Now... This one should have the same horn. This one should have the um, RS campaign one. And I'm going to color this a nice BNSF orange. Because that's the only color that kind of fits RS campaign. Okay. So... Now I know that works. Um, what the heck? <laughs> You're trying to cling to my mouse. I'm sorry, you cannot cling to my mouse. It's against the law. Or something. But if I grab these other ones that also share the US train horns, horn, like, so here we have the steam locomotive. And now we have the mogul, which is actually is still an eight wheeler, but, um, you can tell the difference. The smokestack on the eight-wheeler, the standard one, is wider at the top than the mogul. And on the mogul, there's one, there's two trucks, two wheels on the trucks, and six wheels for the drive wheels. On the eight-wheeler, it's four truck wheels and four drive wheels. The 4 and I'm not going to go into too much explanation. It's basically a tank engine. But I'm going to blow all the whistles of these. And I'm going to listen for the same whistle. So that was the steam locomotive. And oh my gosh, there's music. You know, I'm not, I don't really care because it kind of fits the end of the Minecraft day theme and also sort of the end of the video theme. But the mogul, since they're all old westerny kind of steam trains, they need this kind of whistle. done and now if I take the whatever it's called and also the KOF from DB which is like uh, Bon. forgive me if I say that incorrectly but that was pretty much how I learned to say that not from like German class or something but I just know how to say it it like kind of I'm pretty sure it means German train but that's basically like the German trains company, DB. But if I grab this thing and this thing, they should have the same horn. Getting into diesels now. 
and I'm kind of gonna set the time to zero or daytime or whatever you want to call it because I can see the trains awesomeness better. See, they have the same horn. So that's basically how that works. And I'm gonna have to wrap this video up. If you did enjoy it, like, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I've said that like a thousand times. I don't really need to know why I have to say it again, but you, I hope you know how to dis how to subscribe because I'm not telling you how to subscribe, but just, just do it. Nike, just do it. But, um, yeah, well, that's it for this, and Kisha Jones signing out, like, right now. Bye.